I'm Ree from mummyof 4com Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a shop with me and grocery haul for you in Lidl. If you are a returning subscriber, you will know I do a lot of grocery hauls on my channel, but I mostly get my shopping delivered. And I did ask you guys where you would like to see me do an actual in the supermarket shop and Lidl was the one you voted for first. If you wanna let me know where you'd like me to go next week, let me know in the comments. Anyway, before we go in, with Zara singing Elaine Ravavalor. Before we go in, if you are new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. And Zara's bunny is being Elaine Ravavalor, apparently. Shall we go in then? You're clearly bored. Let's go in. Right, what do we need, Zaz? We want daffodils. This bakery looks nice, doesn't it? You're hungry. Well, we can't eat anything till we've finished shopping. So do you think we should buy some stuff first? How about some tomatoes? Yeah. Ugh. <laughs> okay, well, mummy does. We've got some tomatoes. We need some peppers. We've got a pack of peppers, loose peppers. Hmm. We've got we can only see packs of peppers or red peppers. We'll have a pack of peppers. I don't like peppers. Well, you don't like them if they're not cut up. I see. How about some of these? Should we try some of these? Sweet pointed mixed peppers. We don't normally have that kind, do we? No? Why not? Now I know we've got bananas, but I actually bought those somewhere else quite recently. So I don't I know we don't need bananas. The rest of the fruit, we're going to go up and down the aisles. The rest of the fruit and veg is going to be around there. Ooh, strawberries. How about strawberries? Wow. Big planet of strawberries. How much are strawberries? Um, I think they look, they look quite nice. I think we'd like to try a grape. You would like to try a grape. You do like grapes. Mummy has to cut them all in half so you don't choke. Hmm, let's see. What else do we want in here? Beef mints, they've got 10% fat. Have they got 5% fat? That's what I normally buy. 15% fat, 12% fat, 10% fat. Is that the best we're gonna do? I can't see 5% fat anywhere. So we'll have that, it is 2.59. We'll have one of those. One of those? Yeah. Well, you don't like it like that, darling. That's for chili or Spaghetti bolognese. Oh, no, tell a light. They've got it up here, look. They've got it out of the way. So we'll have that one instead. The 19th of March. Okay. The best date they've got. Good idea. Good idea. Right, so we'll put back the 10%. We'll get the 5% fat one instead. What else do we need? I'm going to get frozen sausages, I think. How about over here? They've got like salady things. Hmm. Ooh, Quite great, fancy one of great, great. those. Great. One of those? Great. Those grapes are olives. Oh. That's what those grapes are. Okay, chicken breast. I love olives. Well, that's a lot of chicken breast. We could get some of those and we could freeze it. Or are we... Those green things. Those green things are olives, not grapes. So there's a lot of chicken breast options. We've got diced chicken breast. We need to look at the price per kilo, don't we? Which is 4 85 a kilo. Or we can have these massive packs of chicken breast for 4 8 a kilo. So we're actually still better off buying the diced. A couple of packs of these. What are we looking at? 20th of March. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, 20th of March. And oh, that one's the 18th of March. We can do better than that. And another one for the 20th. Now, we normally buy cocktail sausages, but I know we've got those at home, so we don't need those. Oh, now we could get some sausage rolls. The boys really like sausage rolls, don't they? Should we get some sausage rolls? Like you don't like them? Why not? <gasps> oh, well, I was gonna. I don't know. I think you're getting frozen pizzas and put them in the freezer. So these are fresh pizzas. I do normally buy frozen ones because they're kind of emergency food. 
Ooh, these look nice. Daddy would like these. Daddy would like breaded from codfish cakes. Oh, £1.15 for a pack of two. That's not bad. Perhaps we'll get a few packs of these. What's the date on those? The 19th of March. We could have some of those with sweet chilli sauce, couldn't we? If I get a few packs of those. To remind me to buy sweet chilli sauce. Right, ham. Which kind of ham should we get? Gosh, lots of types of ham. Smoked ham. Daddy whinges if I buy smoked ham, doesn't he? Family pack of plain ham, and that is. 3.69, there we go. I can see some ham. I can see some ham too. Right, let's go down here. Oh, what did I say we wanted? I said we wanted some sweet chili, didn't I? We'll have some of that to go with the fish cakes. Can you? Some ham in the back. Nice, well that's because I put it in the back. Perhaps we'll try one of those. 23p. Give that a go. Should we give that a go? Mm, now how about these? Easy garlic and easy chilies. They look good. 99 pence. Pre-chopped. Don't get it all over your fingers. Perfect. Right, miss. What next? I want pancakes. You would like pancakes. Okay. Oh, good grief. What's going on here? Where's all the pasta? Pasta aisles have been stripped. That's insane. Where's all the pasta gone? It's a coronavirus panic. Goodness me. What happened in here? Someone bought all of the pasta. There is no pasta to purchase. Oh dear. Any chopped tomatoes? No, we've got peeled tomatoes. There's no chopped tomatoes, Dad. None. Okay. So it looks like we're not buying pasta then. Buy pasta bake. Sorted or pasta bake. That would be a nice, easy meal. Now, luckily, we have got some dried pasta at home. I hope we've got plenty. These look quite nice. Perhaps we'll have we'll try one of those for a former. Now, I actually quite like normally um, tikka, but I can't see any tikka either because that seems to have all sold out. Yeah, look, all sold out. So I guess we'll have one of those. You want a pink one? The pink one is. I don't think you like that one. Perhaps we'll get that one. I guess mummy and daddy have to have a hotter one. Oh well. Hang on, rice. Have they got rice? Long grain rice. I just want basmati rice. Oh my goodness. Look. It's all gone. It's all gone. Oh, my baby can sit on my lap. Oh good, I'm so glad your baby can sit on your lap. Right, we have bananas, don't we? Now the apples you normally like are pink lady apples. Do they sell pink lady apples? These are nectarines. Red apples. I British like apples. Ah! These are actually the only apples you do like. They're the only ones I can guarantee you're gonna eat. Should we get some new potatoes? Some baby potatoes? Should we get some new potatoes to have one night with food? Should have some new potatoes with fish cakes maybe? Loose baking potatoes? Yeah, should we get some of these? So we can get some big enough ones. Okay, well we need to put them in here, don't we? You put them in the trolley. Good girl. Oh look, look at these. They're cute, top mate. I mean, I'm not sure if you really need them. They're very cute. They've got very pretty Easter eggs, look. Oh, look at those, they're really cute. Little rabbit, oh, they, they're nice. I'm not actually sure we're gonna buy Easter stuff today, but it's good to know it's here. Let's get some onions. We'll have a pack of these. We'll have red and we'll have brown onions. Bread, which bread should we get? I like to feed you all brown bread. Daddy will only eat white bread, so I actually am gonna get one for the freezer for toast and one for actually eating. Because I think we've eaten our freezer bread, haven't we? Mmm, crackers. Daddy loves cream crackers. 39 pence. Quite a big, quite a big one. They are Jacob, well they're not Jacobs, they're like the Jacobs cream crackers, just the normal cream crackers that Daddy likes. Hmm. Oh look, and those are party ring little version. I, I love them, I love them, yeah, I love them. They're called ice strings, but they've even got them in the same branding. And break out, I'm guessing is similar to break away. I don't know, let's try these and see what they are. Yum, yum, yum. 
It's a little treat, shall we? That can go in my most don't judge me section. How about... Well, you wanted pancakes, didn't you? But... Oh, none. None. We have some cookies after dinner tonight. You want cookies? Okay, we'll have a look for some cookies. Which cookies did you want? Which cookies really did you want? Like chocolate. You like chocolate cookies, okay. Oh no, look. Did you mean those? What is going on here, people? How about these? You could have this kind. Oh no, no, this kind, look. These are nice luxury chocolate chip cookies. Let's have those. Okay, I'll put them in. Okay, good plan. Mommy, is that my job? That was your job. Well done. Okay, we'll get one of those. 50% extra free. That can go far. You're wrong. That strawberry sauce is jam, darling. Jam. It's jam. I love jam. Oh, I'm so pleased. What about cereal? Which kind of cereal would you want? I would want. Which Cheerios. kind? Cheerios. So, Choco Hoops are like Cheerios. But they're chocolate. There's a lot of chocolate cereal here, isn't there? I love chocolate. I love chocolate. I'll take some chocolate. It's probably not the like most nutritious cereal. Do you want it just to eat sometimes rather than every day? Sometimes. You want the, the pa you want the panda chocolate cereal. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we've already got. Uh oh. <laughs> we've already got. Normal Cheerios at home and Weetabix at home. Should we have that as a treat cereal? Yeah. You can't have it every day. I won't have it every day. Okay, good. Yesterday. We already have it as well. Okay. Oh, hang on. Now these. I'll have that chocolate tomorrow. These multi grain hoops would be the equivalent, wouldn't they, of Cheerios? Okay. Put those in. You can have the chocolate ones as a treat, and you can have the normal multi grain hoops, which are like Cheerios, as a normal thing. Right, cheese. Let's get cheese. Okay, I'll share my chocolate. Okay, let's have. We quite like mature cheese, don't we? Mommy, so we'll have £1.79 for a big block. A couple of blocks of cheese. I'll share my, chi my, um, my chocolates with everyone. You're a very good girl. What a kind girl. Yogurt. Like Which kinds of yogurt should we get? Yogurt. Well, this kind of yogurt. So these 69p, or the big pot one. So that's a pity for Lou. So that works out as 100 grams, 29p. Oh, these are actually cheaper than 100 grams. We'll have this kind, like. We'll have this kind. They actually work out cheaper than the big pots. And then a little price of Muller Corners. So little see their own version of Muller Corners. Hang on, little fruit split pots. So they're one ninety nine for a six pack of those, twenty three p. Well, these are only eighteen p. We'll try those. I don't actually like yogurt, but Daddy and Dylan do, don't they? Oh my goodness, look! They're Sesame Street pajamas, guys. Aww, pajamas. Are they four pounds? We can probably stretch it out, but we do have to get it for the three little ones then, don't we? Do you think William's going to want them as well? Do they make you happy? Yeah. Oh, good. I hold them or put them in? Entirely up to you. Would you rather hold them or put them in? You hold them then, okay. We've got all this kind of stuff that apparently we all need, but we don't really need. Okay, you give them to Lady when, we have, when it's time to pay. Oh my goodness, look at all the chocolate and stuff. Big don't Ooh, judge me section coming up. Do you know what? That looks nice. Just for mummy. Like a giant after eight. Mommy, I'm gonna I'll totally have one of those. How about we try one of these? We'll try some of this. Look, that's like an aero, I assume. Should we try one little bag of these? See if they're any good. Problem is, normally I'm not tempted by all the stuff I'm buying online. I'm gonna end up picking up a lot more rubbish than I normally would. Oh, these look good, look. Oh, and these. Oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, no way, this one's a Marjorie Pan one, isn't it? Oh my goodness. 99p. Oh, seriously, guys. My don't judge me section is going to be enormous. Oh, laces or belts. 
This is why we shouldn't come supermarket shopping. We should buy stuff online. <laughs> Let's have a look around here. Oh no, look, these look like mini cheddars. 75p, that's not bad. They literally brand them exactly the same and everything, so we can recognize them easily. Mommy, look, they have hangers. Well, that's handy. Okay, so if we just get one big bag of crisps, they tend to work out cheaper than they are like 34p per 100 grams. So if we get one, ooh, Worcester sauce. Is anyone gonna eat Worcester sauce flavor? Or are we better with this kind? You know what, I think we're gonna go with that kind. Right. Let's keep going, Zaz. Let's keep going. Do you have any idea how much this is gonna come to? Do you know? Is it I'll gonna be lots? One, which, I wonder which, which one Bella might like. They've got a bit of a flavors of the week. Family yeah. favorites. Yeah. Gluten-free for you to get. No, none of us are gluten-free, but I never did those. Yeah. Back at this fridgey section. I think, are we okay for spread? I think we're all right for spread. Ah. Do you know what? For my don't judge me. That's just for mummy. You know you're not allowed that, don't you? Yeah. Oh, I'm totally not stacking the trolley very well. Can you tell I don't do too smart for very much. I get it all delivered. Now we're into a when it's gone, it's gone. And some cleaning stuff. I think we're all right for cleaning stuff, actually. We're pretty well stocked on that. Pushing this trolley and holding this camera is not that easy, Zaz. No, it isn't. Um... It's not, is it? I think we need bin bags actually. Now I always feel it's kind of worth going for heavy duty. Heavy duty straight top, heavy duty drawstring, tie handle but that doesn't say heavy duty, tie top sir. I think we're going to go for heavy duty straight top and just tie them because otherwise we're going to um, run into problems aren't we with ripped bin bags now the toilet roll they are currently restocking so as you know as a family of six we go through a lot of toilet roll at the best of times and buying in bulk is nothing new for me so we'll just get some of these i think get some of those 18 that'll last us a couple of days into frozen, hoping to be quite inspired and finding pretty empty freezers. Oh, good grief. Why is that? Well, there's a ham and pineapple in there. Well, you all quite like ham and pineapple pizza, and they are 179 for two. I know, so we'll get both of those. And then I know I normally get like the low fat chips, so like that. Try a bag of those, 90 feet. Ooh, well, we know we like these sausages. Let's have. Okay, we're out of sausages. We'll have one bag to use and one as a backup, which I do anyway. Never mind times of short supermarkets selling out. Mummy always has one as a backup. If you watched any of my other videos, you'll know I always do that anyway. And I'll go some fine beans and broccoli. 85 feet bad and then we've got fresh whole milk this is this one isn't it one pound ten okay we'll have some of that we can't really buy much more because our trolley is full maybe the baby doesn't want to be in the supermarket and what the baby wants to go home do you think have they got double strength double strength orange squash no added sugar that looks the same as normal sort of but kind of more orange but i don't know we'll give it a go we'll see what we think right should we go and pay and then we can go home because we've got to go and see all of this stuff pay for all this stuff how much do you think it's all going to come to do you think it'd be lots of money or not much money mm, probably do you think but do you think it will cost less than mummy normally spends in tesco perhaps everyone should vote in the comments about what they think. I think it'll be one. You think it'll be one? Okay, we'll find out. Home now, and just before I show you what I've bought, I would love you to let me know in the comments. Normally, I would just do the haul section of these videos when it comes to groceries, obviously because I have things delivered. But did you just enjoy the shop with me section? If you did, would you like me to do that in the other supermarkets that I'm going to? Or are you far more interested in just the what I've bought haul section? Do let me know in the comments because that's really helpful when I'm making future videos. Now, let's take a look at what I managed to buy.
Let's start over here in the fresh section so I can get some of this stuff put away. I have bought some pink lady apples. They're super sweet and juicy and I do find my children are far more likely to eat these apples than any other type I have tried. I've actually bought two types of peppers. And I bought a normal pack of, I guess they're called bell peppers um, that I would normally buy. I bought them in a pack as opposed to loose because I could only see red ones and I wanted a variety of colors. But then I saw these mixed pointed peppers, sweet pointed peppers. Do they taste much different to this kind? I'm not really sure. I never really buy these, but I thought I would give it a go. So I will try both of those out and report back. But if you do know in the comments, if I'm gonna notice much of a difference, I'd love for you to let me know. Then I got some baby or new potatoes. I don't always buy these. My, my husband really likes them, I suppose. I don't buy them because I think they are a little bit boring, but he loves a boiled potato with a bit of butter on it. Maybe I don't like it because I don't like butter. Unpopular opinion, I know, I can't stand butter. Um, but never mind, um, I will do some of those. Normally, that is not the type of potato I will go for. I do other things, as you know. But we're going to do that to mix it up a little bit this week. I have bought six of these jacket potatoes. I bought these loose. I tried to get larger ones for my husband and teenager and slightly smaller ones for the little ones. But I have bought six of those. And one night, I will do a very simple jacket potato cheese and beans because that always goes down really well with everybody. Then I have bought some salad tomatoes. These are mostly for me. One or two of the others will eat them, but they're mostly for me, along with a little bit of nice leafy bistro salad on the side of my plate of pretty much whatever I'm eating. And then a lovely pack of strawberries. These look delish. I will just chop the tops off those and slice them up, pop them in a bowl, and they will be devoured by my children within seconds. And then I've got a pack of three uh, brown onions, I guess, and three red onions. Why are they called red onions? Clearly, they look more purple than red. Maybe even maroon, but anyway, red onions. That's kind of the fruit and veg type thing. A lot of this stuff, obviously the fruit is just sort of like snacky, but the peppers, I will probably do some Mexican food, either uh, fajitas or enchiladas, or maybe both. And then the onions will go into spaghetti bolognese, fajitas, enchiladas if I do them, they will go into curry, they will go into all sorts of things. Uh, so I've got lots of different meal options for this week. So I've got two packs. I did find the lean uh, mince steak in the end. So I will do spaghetti bolognese one night and chili another night. Uh, the other thing that goes quite well with chili actually, other than rice, because I couldn't buy rice, is jacket potatoes so as another option i could do rather than cheese and beans with jacket potatoes i could do the jacket potatoes with the chili then i've got two packs of diced chicken i was thinking i'd probably do either the fajitas or the enchiladas one night and uh the curry the other night and then i've got some cooked ham for lunches for zara or for lunches when the others are home with a bit of the bread they have brought i've actually bought different types of bread we'll talk about that in a second um to the bread i would normally buy and then I have bought some sausage rolls, mostly because the teenager loves these. Um, they all, all the little ones like them really, but I will put them out for like a plowensy type lunch along with some cheese, which is over there, some ham, some bread, and some fruit um, for just like a picky lunch on the weekends. And then for a change, we've got some breaded cod fish cakes. And I thought these would be a really easy uh, tea one night. If I do those with the um, baby potatoes, some peas and we like a bit of sweet chili with a, with a fish cake so i've got some of that as well i will probably eat one the little ones will eat one and my husband and my teenager will eat two so i've got four packs um but they worked out as a pretty good price so we'll try those and do, uh, report back but do let me know have you tried these little fish cakes and are they nice on to dairy and i've bought my standard four pints of full fat milk I've bought two blocks of cheese. Now I will have to slice some of this to go with lunches, with the ham and the sausage rolls and the bread. And then some of it will be grated onto chili. Uh, we have grated cheese with pasta type dishes like spaghetti bolognese, that kind of thing as well. Then I've got two packs of these. I normally buy the pepper pig yogurts when I have the Tesco delivery, but these I would imagine taste pretty similar to those. So I've got two packs of those for the children. And then my husband and teenager like these yogurts. Now, I'm not fussed on yogurt at all. I don't think I'd eat a yogurt if you paid me, but my husband and teenager do enjoy these. I would imagine these are 
the little equivalent of the Muller type things. I don't know. Are they the same as the Muller ones? Are they just as nice? If you like yogurt, of course, because if you don't like yogurt, I'm sure they're quite disgusting. Dart over here and show you the frozen stuff now so I can put it away. I bought these ham and pineapple pizzas. These are two packs. So I think they're pretty good value. Um, but really, there wasn't much choice left in little, was there? The, the freezers were looking pretty bare and the pasta and rice situation was a bit dire too. So um, I'm just gonna get those in the freezer. They make a really easy, like a swimming night tea and all the children will eat ham and pineapple. Not my favorite flavor. My husband who isn't first on pizza is the only flavor he will eat. So at least it keeps everyone happy, even if I think it's a bit boring. By the way, let me know in the comments, what is your favorite flavor of pizza? Now we've got these straight cut chips to try. The chip situation was a bit dire in little as well, wasn't it? This kind of coronavirus panic buying is really hitting the shops. Anyway, haven't tried these before. Have you tried them? Are they nice? Will I like them? And then on to sausages, I did need two bags of these because as you know, even in times of non-panic buying, I always have one open and one as a backup of anything that doesn't like go off quite quickly. So anything that's frozen or dry, I always have that as a rule in the house. And the reason I've had this as a rule in the house is even if there's not a time of things like coronavirus, as a mum, I've always found that if my children suddenly get ill and I can't do what I plan to do and nip to the shops and things, I end up a bit stuck. And with four of them, you just never know what's gonna happen. So I always have this rule, one open, one is a backup, easy peasy. And it just, it just means you're not in kind of a panic rush state. Anyway, sausages could go with chips. I also put sausages on the side of a Sunday dinner or a chicken dinner or a roast dinner or whichever type of dinner you decide to call it. We've got the broccoli florets and the green beans and I will literally just do those in my steamer, which I've still not established if this works on my new induction hob yet. Need to figure that out or I need to get another one because I use that all the time. Over here, I have got two loaves of bread, one to use for sandwiches and things, and one to put in the freezer for toasting. We've got some cream crackers. The children like these with a bit of cheese. My husband will just munch these on their own, as if they were crisps, randomly. So those are mostly for him, if I'm honest. And I've got some of these for cooking. So these are obviously a rip-off of the lazy garlic and the lazy chilies, and they're great because Chopping up garlic makes your hands absolutely stink and it's a bit of a faff. This you can put a little dollop in when you're cooking and it's just super easy. So for things that need chili or garlic, I can recommend those. Well, I can recommend the lazy garlic and the lazy chili that I've tried before. Let me know if these versions do the same trick. Now a few new tries for us here. Haven't tried this before. I thought I could do a little pasta bake for the children. I mean, luckily I got a bit of a dry pasta in stock because there was no pasta to be bought in Lidl's, oh dear, with the panic buying. And then over here, we've got these to try. We've got the korma sauce, and the children really like korma, with like this shake on of the sort of the powdery seasoning, and then the, um, the main sauce. They didn't have tikka, which is what I wanted, because they'll all eat tikka and korma. So I bought them a dress, which I know my husband likes. I'm not first on the hotter ones, but I will have to eat that, because if I'm doing that as a nice quick meal, then, you know, in times of everything getting out of stock, we can't be so fussy. And this is the sweet chili, which will go with the fish cakes that I bought. Then I've got this double strength orange squash, which I'm hoping is very similar to the one I normally have, unlike from Tesco's. Um, and the children only have squash with their meals at the table, other than that, they drink water. Then I've bought a couple of packs of heavy duty bin liners. Bin liners are not somewhere we want to scrimp because if you buy very thin bin liners, they just rip, in my experience. And then we've got some PG tips. I bought these because they're 50% extra free and I'm gonna come up with another very unpopular opinion now. I don't actually like tea. I know, a bit random, but I don't. Not fast time at all. Um, my husband drinks a lot of it um, because he's a builder. That's what builders do. So those are for him, some of them to go over the new house where he is currently building and some to stay here. Now these, the cereal, as you know, I was looking for some more Cheerios, but not out of them because I don't buy things. When we're out of them, I buy things when we go into the backup box. I had opened the backup box, we needed a new backup box. So before I found those, I came across these and Zara conned me into buying them. So we've got those as like a treat cereal and those as more of a main type cereal. 
Then I also picked up this chili con carne seasoning to try with some chopped tomatoes, which luckily I've already got in stock because they didn't have any, and the mints and the onions, and I didn't buy any kidney beans either, did I? But I'm hoping I've got some in the cupboard. I should do, but no. I did look for them in little, don't know if they had them in stock or if I just missed them, but canned goods, must say, are looking a bit thin on the ground at the moment, guys. Then over here, we have got toilet roll. Now, I would normally buy one of those family packs anyway, um, but I actually bought a second one because we need toilet roll for the new house where there are people building and in and out and things. So that's one for our current house and one to go over to the house we're renovating. Um, so we shouldn't run out of toilet roll, but we do go through such a lot of toilet roll as a family of six. And then these, these are not really groceries, are they? But they have bumped up my price of my shopping i would imagine by you know more than and so it's we're gonna have to take that into account when we look at the sort of final totals i do not normally buy pajamas so zara wanted these pajamas and obviously i had to get a pair for his sister as well they seemed a bit babyish for the boys so i just got them for the girls but they are super cute and then we reach my rather massive don't judge me section I bought this massive bag of crisps because it works out a lot cheaper to buy them this way. When I buy this kind of Tesco own version of this, they're quite nice. Haven't tried these little ones before. Are they nice? We do like all the flavors. I say we like all the flavors. I would like all those flavors other than cheese and onion, which my children love. They call them smelly crisps. Well, Zara does because she's got a list. But um, luckily, all of those flavors would be eaten by someone in our household. Then we've got a bag of mini cheddars equivalent. Are they as nice as mini cheddars? because they're branded the same, let me know in the comments. Then yes, guilty pleasure of mine, Diet Coke. Don't feed it to the rest of the family. My husband thinks it's poison, the children aren't allowed it, but I like it, it's my thing, leave me alone, don't judge me. And then we've got a lot more sweets than we normally would have because they were there in front of me and I impulse bought some um, fizzy belts and some sort of fruit fizzy things. They look quite nice and we will allow the children a couple of those as a treat after a meal if they are lucky and they've been good. Not every day, but you know, sometimes as a treat. Now these, if I'm honest, I just wanna eat all these myself till I'm sick. Marzipan chocolate, oh yummy, yes please. Mint cream, is it nice? I'm guessing it's like a massive bar of after eight. And this, I'm assuming, is an aero ripoff. Which, is it all right to have that for my lunch? Answer in the comments, that's what I'm so fancying. And then breakouts, are they similar to break away because they look more like a digestive biscuit. Dying to know, let me know in the comments. Now these, oh yummy, they look so good. These are the luxury chocolate cookies. They look so yummy, are they nice? And then these ice rings are almost identical to party rings in the branding. In fact, Zara went party rings. So I'm assuming they are gonna be pretty similar, but a little version. Now, taking a look at what I spent, I think we've got to keep in mind that I did want to buy pasta and I couldn't. I did want to buy rice and I couldn't. Um, I was gonna pick up some hand soap for this house. I mean, I got a bit in stock, so it's not the end of the world um, because we've got new hand soap dispensers for the new house. Um, so I guess I'll just have to fill up with the, like, the bulk one that I've got over the, the new house back over here if we run out but you know so we have to bear in mind i didn't get those and also i did get something which is not groceries i did get those pajamas for the girls so the pajamas for the girls were 3.99 each so i basically spent eight pounds on pajamas the total for the groceries is 96.44 but really to be fair we've got to reduce that price haven't we because the pajamas weren't groceries and they were a bit of an impulse buy. So, I mean, yeah, I did buy them, but if we're comparing how much I would normally spend, which would normally be over the hundred pounds mark, if I'm honest, in Tesco's. So I don't know, do you think that's good value? Do you find little good value? And did you enjoy this video? If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Let me know in the comments where you would like me to go shopping next. Do let me know if you prefer the shop with me or the haul bit, or if you like both. And don't forget to, yeah, give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is just across here. And if you want to watch more shop with me and haul videos, they're just down here. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah.